Have you ever wanted to change from yourself into something else on a live stream? Well, now you can by using the Snapchat application for your desktop called Snap Camera. For instance, you ever want to turn yourself into a cartoon like my friend Timmy? Well, now you can. There's only one problem. Oh? What's that? I'm a puppet. Okay, so the very first thing we'll need to do is go into the website snapcamera.snapchat.com. Now we'll go ahead and download the software. If you're interested in using some of the lenses, then you'll have to also download Lens Studio to utilize the filters. Of course, I'll also link the software links below. Okay, so here we are. Go ahead and install it on your desktop. Now, once you have the Snapcam application opened, first thing you're going to want to do is go into settings and make sure that the camera that you're using is clicked on, as well as your microphone. I can certainly click on the webcam, but today I'll be using the Epoch Cam camera, which is a great app. I'll also link Epo Cam Camera below because I find that this application for your iPhone is a great product. Okay, so here we are in the application. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the lenses that are available in Snap Camera. What you'll notice is that they'll have the feature lenses here. And then below they have the categories as well. Now these categories are cycled every single day. So you might want to check on them on a daily basis. And then down below, we have the top community lenses by people that created their own lenses. So you can go ahead and browse the community lenses and pick one that's to your liking. And then we have the search feature. If you want to look for something specific, let's say cartoon, and then you can click on all the lenses that are related to cartoons or anime as well, for, or for any category that you're looking for. Okay, now that you found your particular lens, in this case, I've clicked on the glasses. You want to click on this favorite icon here and then go to top left and it shows you all your favorites. And the reason why you want to set up favorites is because that's the way you can set up your hotkey. We go to this keyboard icon. So as you can see, I've already set up my lens hotkeys. Shift one, two, three, four, five for the five lenses that I've created. Okay, now that we've selected a filter, in this case, I've taken the bananas on a head. Now we'll go ahead and take a look, quick look at OBS. Here we are in OBS. The most important thing here is to make sure that your snap cam is set up as a video capture device. And the way to do that is to hit the plus sign, go to video capture device. As you can see, I've already added the snap cam. Select it and hit OK. And there you have it. My snap cam through OBS is working. Now that OBS is working, you can have some fun with it. In this case, I used a media source. That media source is a computer monitor and on a desktop, and that media source is in a loop. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is make sure that our hotkeys are working. Shift 1, Shift 2, Shift 3, Shift 4, and Shift 5. So as you can see, all my hotkeys are working. And please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.